Hey, how are you all doing? Welcome to this Beat Leaps and... Is it Beat Leap? Beat Leap. Welcome to this Beat Leap and Video Leap tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take the sound from a video. Let's say you want to retain some of the sound in some of the parts after you've put a video through Beat Leap. I'm going to show you how to do that in um, in Enlight. So, um, so I'm just going to add a um, click the little plus button here, and that will add it to my Beat Leap composition. Um, now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to find a track that I want to use. Let me just pause that. I don't really care what track I'm using. I just want to use a track, okay? So what's going to be difficult here is to use, because so in Beat Leaps, what you're doing, you're essentially adding effects. And let's say you had a boomerang effect. That's going to replay a part of the video. Let's say you had a fast cut effect. It's going to cut it and go somewhere else quickly. So you're not necessarily going to be able to get the sound, the original sound or part of that sound, on the video exactly as it was because beat leap is going to mix the video up a little bit and throw out something out something else out the other end hence why i'm using a fitness video here so what we're going to have is the instructors sort of voice shouting directions to them um, as they go through and we can just fade that in and fade that out in video leap as we go along so let me show you let me just add a few effects to this let me put a few prisms on it let me put a few fast cuts on it. Let me put a couple of boomerangs on it. And then I quite like RGBs as well. They're quite nice. And then, um, um, but now I'm just going to fade it in and fade it out by selecting all. So click the little tick button. And then if I play through that, I'm not even going to look at what's going on. You know, I've got this big bit in the middle that I see I could potentially then use. So you see between the two orange little dots, so each dot is a video effect. So I've got this big gap in the middle that I could sort of fade the volume in and fade the volume out of the instructor. So let me just click save on there. That will export to my camera roll. So we've got that. Let me um, let me open, open Video Leap. So now in Video Leap, in my, um, I've got videos selected here, down the bottom left hand side here, is the video that we've just bought in. And so let me just add that to project now. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna to go to Mixer and I'm gonna find the same video as 58 seconds, right? So then what we're gonna do with this top video, I'm gonna keep it selected like so. And I'm gonna to go to Audio and I'm going to say Unlink. So this will unlink the video from the audio, okay? Let me just um, make it a little bit shorter. Grab the video and delete that. Let me go back to the audio and the audio is now back in place. So if I was to play through this, I'd have two sets of audio. I've still got the sound file playing over the top of that, the audio sound file and the music playing over the top of that. But essentially what I want to do is when we come to this center piece here, I think it was roughly about here and this is one of the things I wish that Enlight or Light Tricks would do that allow us to mark the video somewhere. Because currently I can't mark the video to say this is my in point and this is my out point. I did message support about it, but they just palm me off a little bit, I suppose. But yeah, anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to select the video clip and here on the audio, I want to um, change the volume. So as we come into this piece here, and then we've got this piece here, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to keyframe the audio and then come in a little bit, and I'm gonna volume down all the way down to like nine. And then in the middle part here, I'm gonna keyframe again. And then as I come out of that, I'm gonna bring it back to 100. So it might go to 100 quite quickly here, but but let's take a listen. Let me just um, go to audio on this for now, and let me just mute the top audio on that for now, okay? So here's our keyframe. Let's have a listen. So the, the, the audio file is nice and low now, the music, and then it comes back in, okay? So now what I want to do, I want to go back to my audio here it's on mute at the moment so i'm going to unmute it 
but I don't want this to actually come in until here and I want it to fade in. This might be a bit quick, right? I want it to fade in. So that fades in just quite nicely there. And then what we're gonna do a little bit is we're gonna move up the timeline a little bit to the next keyframe. Um, and then what we're gonna to want to do is cut the audio clip right here, the little cut button below. And then just remove the back part of the audio. And then we're just gonna go along and um, back to the keyframe and fade in again or fade out, should I say, again, so that when we fade out, our um, talking volume goes down and our music volume is slowly introduced. Just the arms, pump the legs. Good, keep that pace, that tempo, high movement, slow. Good work. If you're wondering why I can't play the volume on this is because I remember last time I did a Beat Leap video um, um, I got a copyright claim, so <laughs> because the music they use is from Epidemic Sound. So I hope that video has helped you out. If you have any questions or anything to say, please leave it in the comments below. Likewise, if you have any requests for tutorials, and it could be using the whole range of Lightrix applications across a whole suite, um, just let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks a lot. Again, take care and have, a, um, have an awesome day or evening, wherever you are. Take care, bye.